Hey everybody, it's Alex here, Tactical Arbitrage. I just wanted to show you a new addition to the Tactical Arbitrage. It's one that I mentioned earlier in the week. Um, so when you go into settings now, you'll see this use local FBA calculations button on everybody's uh, access. Now, by default, it's switched off. Now we were gonna switch it on for everybody, but uh, we, we decided to leave it off uh, by default for starters, that may change. We might override everybody to switch on. Once we're a little bit more confident that uh, we're closer to 100% of all calculations being correct. Uh, some of the calculations, like um, maybe when there's an overlapping uh, category like electronics and computers, um, a small percentage of those, it's, it's not always grabbing the right one. So we're getting a 6% referral instead of an 8% referral but it's super fine tuning. We've got like 98% of all results, I think are coming in right. So, I mean, arguably we could have automatically switched this on for everybody, but it's better that you watch this video, make that choice yourself for now. And uh, once we play with it a bit more, we might be able to, to confidently uh, do that. But I'm gonna show you what happens when I switch it on. And you'll notice that I've set my search type for live only. I've done that so that I don't accidentally grab a bunch of people's cache data and uh, and you know change the way that the results will show so um we'll leave that as live only just so we can uh, just for the example basically and i'm going to switch use local fba calculations to on and um and i'll hit save now if i uh go targets and we'll just go toys category and we'll go from page one to page one Hit submit. I'll show you what it does. So mine's a developer version, so it's going to show the calculations as well. But you'll see the the speed that they're added because the cal to do the um, FBA calculation each time uh, does add an extra couple of seconds normally, and uh, now we we're not getting that extra couple of seconds because some mathematics is going on in the background, uh, which which will give us an accurate FBA calculation almost all the time. So. It's skipping through the products. I recommend that uh, you will turn this on and that way every time it gets to a point where it decides that your filters are wanting it to do a FBA calculation, uh, it'll be close to instant. I mean, how long does it take for a computer to do a piece of mathematics? So if I wanna go to view data here, I, the reason why we didn't launch this a couple of days ago is because I wanted to launch it with this extra little feature. Everybody likes peace of mind. so. If, um, if you see this and it's 38% return on investment and you want to pull the trigger on it, but suddenly you think, oh, I use the FBA local calculation. I hope it's right. Well, when you use FBA local, the price here will be blue. And if you hit this little refresh button here, it'll show you in green exactly what Amazon has to say about that return on investment price. So. You might only find uh, a few in a list that you actually want to drill into and, uh, and, and double check those prices, but you can uh, have that extra peace of mind by uh, clicking the little rotate button, I mean the little refresh button, and getting the right price. So um, we've, we've worked pretty hard to get this right. I'll try it on a couple of different ones here. Uh, that was a large standard size. I'll try a small oversized one, which is a different calculation. Uh, our local... Um, our local FBA calculation saying $6.54 and uh, Amazon's telling us that it's $6.54. So I can pick a few of these at random. $4.50, $4.50. Um, now you, you might notice, I might just mention that while it's here. Um, if there's no refresh button there and the price is red, it means sometimes in Amazon um, the the product doesn't have a weight or dimensions. It was never inserted into the system properly. And uh, and so we're not really getting an accurate FBA calculation anyway. Uh, so basically what we've done here is in an instance where weight is zero and dimensions are zero, um, we do get the Amazon calculation as normal. We don't use our local FBA calculation. We go in and we show you what Amazon was going to show you anyway, but we mark it as red. Um, I'll check a couple more. This small oversized one here, 
4267. Um, I wouldn't be interested in that at a five negative five percent return on investment. But let's just see if that calculation is coming in right. Forty two dollars sixty seven. Happy about that. Um, hopefully you enjoy the speed increases and we'll keep working on making the software better for you. Cheers.